Hi there, my name is Lirio Jimenez and I am a watercolor artist. Uh, this is for everybody, but also in, especially it is for Cupixel. I hope you like my video. Uh, art for me is a way of expressing emotions and getting your inner thoughts and those things that you cannot put into words can have another way of expressing them. So, uh, Art, it's not only expression, it's communication, it's healing, and it's sharing. For me, uh, art, it's family. Uh, if it's done within the family, but it's family, because uh, when you share something in common with a lot of people, it becomes family when you do that many times over. So thank you, have a good day, enjoy the video. First, we're gonna do a quick sketch and we're gonna be working with a very simple subject. So we're gonna be drawing a circle and within the circle, another circle. They don't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna start a line that comes up and then goes down and another one that comes across. We want to make this simple because when we're working with watercolors, we don't want that much graphite on top of our lines, on top of our drawing, because it'll, it'll block the white from the paper. As you know, I work with a limited color palette. I love that because it allows me with the minimum colors to make the most. Here I have a quinacridone burnt orange and I have Bohemian Green. So I have two complementary colors which are gonna allow me to do the maximum range of colors with the minimum hues. The first step will be to do a very light wash. And I don't want it uh, a flat wash, I just wanna just get some color across because each stroke can be texture. And I wanna mix evenly both colors because that's gonna create a neutral. When I mix them both, I can't see exactly the colors they came from. And I'm using secondary complementary colors. So it's gonna create a very neutral mix. which then I'm going to apply. On the outside of the eye. So we're going to keep applying our mix. We are going to allow some areas without color to see the other color underneath. And that's going to be the glare of the eye. We can use our colors individually, as I said before, just straight, straight up. And as I said, this one's Bohemian Green. We're going to be applying paint on the top of the iris of the eye. And in the I am going to mix my color stronger with one of the colors. And that's going to create a semi neutral color. And we're going to keep applying it above the eye where it's darkest because our lid eyelid folds just above the eye and it creates kind of a darker tone on our skin 
and then under the eye we also have a little bit of a darker tone As you can see, I'm, I'm still using a lot of more of that green, bohemian green, and I'm now I'm going over my eye. And I'm doing uneven strokes because I want inside that eye, I want texture. Just a little bit, just to show you our end result at this.